In this lesson, we're going to introduce our students to the hurdles. And we're going to have them all perform a basic three stride rhythm with an effective lead and trail leg. So we're going to start with a few drills and exercises that are going to warm up and mobilize the hips. And it's going to teach them the basic lead and trail leg mechanics. And then we're going to work on the rhythm and the postures needed in between the hurdles. And then we're going to combine these two to create our hurdles model. So the first thing we're going to look at is the lead knee into the hurdle. Now, as we approach the hurdle, we want to be driving across the hurdle, not going over the hurdle. So for this, we need to be in a nice strong position to attack the ground. And we want to have a knee driving at the hurdle that takes us across the hurdle, not a foot attacking the hurdle. So for this, we're going to learn the high knee step over. Where we're going to create this nice strong position and we're going to learn to drive the knee at takeoff. Now, after we've driven onto the hurdle, we need to extend this foot to clear the barrier. And this is gonna create a stretch through our hamstring and our glutes that's gonna allow us to snap down off the hurdle and get back onto the ground as soon as possible. So for this, we're gonna take our high knee step over and we're gonna extend the foot and practice snapping back down onto the ground. Remembering to come through a high knee position first before we open and then attack the ground. Now, when it comes to the trail leg, many people want to see this wide trail that they see in the pictures. But what we're really looking for is how do I bring this foot from this attacking ground position through to a high knee, ready to run off the hurdle. So for this, we're looking for this trail leg to attack the ground, and then it should come close to my armpit. And this brings me through to a high knee and a tall position, ready to run off the hurdle. So for this, we're going to use the trail leg pulls that's going to teach us to come close to the armpit and then come through to this tall position in order to clear the hurdle. So now we have the lead and the trail leg, and we know how to attack the hurdle and come off the hurdle. It's time to put that together in the hurdle walkover exercise. So we're gonna have our high knee into extension, and as we snap this foot down, we're gonna pull this trail leg close to the armpit and through to a high knee position. Now a chance to work on having an attacking lead arm and pulling this arm back in order to bring us back into this nice high running position. So now it's time for us to have a look at the rhythm and the sprint mechanics we want to see between the hurdles. Now, interestingly, in the hurdles, our stride length is going to be dictated by the distance between the hurdles. So the only way for us to get faster is to learn to apply our force faster and to increase our stride frequency between the hurdles. So we're looking to keep this nice tall position and we need to learn how to strike the ground and to increase that stride frequency whilst maintaining this tall position into the hurdles. And for this, we're going to use the wicket runs. So now it's time for us to apply our new sprint mechanics to our three stride hurdles rhythm. So we're gonna land off the hurdle and we're gonna get this trail leg down as quickly as possible and back to running. And then we're gonna have the last two strides that's gonna attack onto the hurdle. So this is gonna create a one, two, one, two rhythm. And we're gonna practice this over the three stride wicket. Now we're gonna set out a series of different spacing that's gonna to cater to the different abilities we have in the group. And we want the students to try and find the spacing that's best for them to be able to hold mechanics and to create that one, two, one, two rhythm.
So finally, it's time to test our students over the hurdles. So we're simply going to take the wickets away and replace them with hurdles. We're going to start off with slightly lower hurdles. And we're probably going to ask our students to come in one spacing just to make it a little bit more comfortable as we introduce a hurdle. Then we're looking for this three stride rhythm and we want to see this effective lead and trail leg mechanic. And when we see this, we can start to increase the height. We can start to increase the spacing until we reach that competition distance and height. So hopefully now we have all of our students performing a three stride rhythm with a basic lead and trail leg technique. We're going to have a range of heights and spacings to suit their abilities, but now we can test these under race conditions and have some fun.